Welcome traders. In this video we're going to look at a new use for the Zone Trader Pro Divergence Indicator and if you should happen to hear some audio feedback it's not your imagination. I have a bad headset which I've already called to have replaced but I wanted to get this information out and give you some more information about the uh, indicator. Okay so what I've done here is something that I've done before. I've created a 400 tick point and figure chart and the settings to get that chart are as follows. We're going to select the type of point and figure with a base period value of 400, a reversal of 2, and we need to check tick replay. From there I have put on the zones in the zigzag ZTP and they have a value of 2.5. I have the delta strength on the chart and I am filtering for 50 contracts. However, we can put that at uh, 75. I'd like to see that a little better. And I have the new ZTP delta divergence on here. And I've done something a little bit different. I have gone and I have unchecked the reconstruct tape. I've put a min filter of 1. Again, I have a price deviation value of 2.5, deviation contracts of 150, and key points of 3. And the new indicator is going to have this section down here. And I have set the KP2 ratio for 95. I have the KP3 value at 500 and the KP2 value at 1200. We'll talk about that more in the setup video, but basically these are numbers that you are going to have to set and they're going to differ based upon what the zigzag deviation value is. So with that, we'll go ahead and take a look at this chart. Okay, what is different and what is really unique about this is by putting the divergence on here, we can see divergences happening that we wouldn't see on other charts. So from the open, we see this divergence along with the special divergence here. And from the low here, we had an excellent trade set up. We can see that we had the black KP2 ratio, which is this negative 114, and we had an accumulation set up and then here at the high of the day, we can see that there was actually net selling on the way up. And then that took us down. And at about 10.06, we see another good sell signal. Now, what is unique and different about this chart is that when we place the delta strength on this point and figure chart, is this number right here, this minus 696. The delta strength is a Zone Trader Pro unique proprietary indicator. And what is going to happen is what this is telling you is that in the two or three price levels that it takes to fall down here, that the delta strength had a value of negative 696 while the bar was still open. So as this bar opens right here, we have our first very excellent trade. Same thing happens here. We have an up bar. We have this divergent delta strength. And again, we have another 10 point trade there. Now down on the low, we can see where we had another great trade calling the low. Now this of course is an exhaustion pattern and in this case we can use the classification system to our advantage here and take a look at what that's telling us. So what the classification system was telling us is this first green bar here was the KP2. The KP2 is the low to the high and that was telling us that our number had been met. The red the second red bar here is the KP3, which was a negative 2300. And that's really expected after we have a sell off of about 10 points. 
and then we had the black again giving us this ratio. Now it's very common that we do see this distribution ratio here, especially when we have had a strong trend because sellers want to get involved. They think they're going to take it back down even further. So that's very common to see and not necessarily a reason to get out of this trade. But the first clue that we're going to have a good trade is this uh, green KP2 number. Now, as we trade lower, what happens is again, there was net buying to the tune of 410 contracts from this bar to this bar, giving us the special divergence signal that we got here. And then again, the KP3 was now a positive 2400 contracts taking us into this trade. Now you might ask, well, what about the distribution trade that failed right here? It did have a up bar and there was a black delta strength signal there. Absolutely. After entering this trade, the market traded down and then bounced and traded higher. And we can kind of get a clue that that was going to happen from our regular 300 tick divergence chart. So here is that area right here. And as you can see at the low again on our chart here, we see one of the two divergences. We see just a regular divergence and we don't see the special divergence, but we see the green here. We've also had a double green immediately preceding that trade. As price traded higher, we have a trend trade that failed. And this is the area here at uh, 6775 where we would have gotten our next short signal. But the major clue is going to be in your classification screen right here. You have both a double green marking, meaning that both the KP2 and the KP3 values were met and exceeded. And then as you traded down into the reversal pattern, you then got not only a reversal pattern, but you got order flow going north, and thus you receive the green bloodhound signal. And that trade in and and that trade was good for another eight points, trading into an exhaustion pattern and another good short trade. During that sell-off, we can see that we had four consecutive short trades in a row all of which were classified red going into them. The only trade that would have given me any bit of a pause would have been this third one because we want to be aware that we had a KP2 ratio in excess of 95. And when you look at where that occurred, that only occurred a few points from the eventual bottom. So it was somewhat of a predictor of the eventual bottom down here at uh, 64. A few other trades to highlight would be this trend trade right here because we have the black classification of the KP2 ratio and that ended up being a very successful trade. We had a distribution trade right here again on another trend trade giving us a second excellent trade. We had a short trend trade develop after that again with a distribution KP2 ratio, again, falling in and giving us an excellent uh, trading opportunity. Up here, we had just a straight divergence, but the numbers were very low, so this would be a trade that I wouldn't be considering. We didn't have a strong KP2 ratio. It was only an 18, and that had been preceded in the classification system by several green bars. So this would be something that we would end up passing on. As we take this a little bit further, we see that we entered a strong trend after coming out of that exhaustion pattern. And we had a strong trend trade where we had red classifications going into it. We would of course want to be a little bit concerned about the uh, ratio here being a 107. In this case, it didn't affect the trade. We again had a trend trade. Again, a little bit of a concern that on the low down here, we had a 102 for the KP2 ratio, but we did continue to have red going in on the cumulative delta the entire way. So that ended up turning into a very successful trade. 
we can then see what happens after. We again see a distribution here at this strong trend. Again, not a big surprise, but they had bought back 2,180 contracts, giving us this very solid KP2 number. We then trade into a broken reversal pattern here where we get a buy signal and again good for a few points. Now coming out of the lunch hour we had a short trade here. Unfortunately we didn't have any classification to go with it but a few minutes later we did. We had developed a strong trend and we had both double red and a good KP3 number giving us a trade into here. That traded into an exhaustion pattern, however, with a very weak KP2 ratio, giving us the opportunity to take this trend trade from here, since there was no green classifications going into that. Similarly, we had a second trend trade short here, again, taking us down and taking us into another strong trend. However, this time again, we see that they were buyers on limit orders and this time stronger than any other at a negative 145. Now, here is why we want to be really careful of taking anything after somebody, something has been classified with a black bar. Here we see that we had a green bar going into this because of the cumulative delta and we had significant buying taking us up into here. That took us into a trend trade and that trend trade traded a few ticks against us but that is the reason why we want to be careful if there is a distribution signal directly in front of the trade. Now because of the strength of this KP2 right here something I probably would have been interested for myself and this is just an example of something that is going to go a few ticks against us. Whether or not that stops us out, that is another question. Here again, we can see an exhaustion pattern right here that fails and exactly what the classification system is made for. We had double greens here with a distribution. I think this number was exactly 95 here and followed by a very strong KP3 number of 2140 taking us up into the exhaustion pattern with no distribution to justify that as a trade. We had double green here taking us into this trend trade here where we had a good order flow signal giving us a good trade and since we're still trading live the only other trade on the chart is this one here where we had a special divergence pattern develop right here at this low and then that was followed by price and order flow taking us and giving us another good trade. So all in all the classification system is working fine and I again I apologize for the audio on this video. I try to edit a little bit of that out that's why I'm speaking a little, a little bit louder and there isn't any problems with this indicator. However, I am waiting for a second piece of software, which is the reason that this isn't being distributed at this time. And before I close this out, um, I wanna show you another chart that I have created. I wanted to, to have somewhat of a macro oversized view and so what I've done is I put a five zigzag and because I'm not really concerned about this as a timing chart I turn the ticks up to 2500 so I can basically see everything on one chart. Now with the delta strength I am filtering the delta strength for larger trades of 150 or more. As far as the zigzag ZTP, all I'm doing is setting that to a five. And for delta divergence, I'm again not reconstructing the tape. I am setting a minimum filter of one and I'm setting the price deviation value to five. Um, I am using some different settings here for the new classification system. Keeping the KP2 ratio at 95, that's not gonna make any difference. 
but I am more than doubling the KP3 and the KP2 ratio that I wanted to see for the classifications. And I'm doing this because we have twice the amount of ticks in this five point zigzag than we did in the two and a half point zigzag. So I'm gonna take off the uh, delta strength, but I find it extremely helpful to see these large trades coming in. But for this, what I wanna illustrate here, I'm gonna take that off the chart. And on today's chart, you see how we had a bearish divergence here at the top, and we did have a negative KP3 ratio of over 4,400 contracts, giving us that divergence. And then we simply entered the Zone Trader Pro patterns. We had the sell off, followed by a reversal pattern that took us into a strong trend, followed by a strong trend trade, followed by an exhaustion trade, a trend trade that became a strong trend followed by a strong trend trade. And again, what we're looking for here is we are looking for a combination of the red and the green to tell us what's going on. Here where we see the trend trade resuming, what we have to consider is that this 133 is representing the amount of limit orders that are absorbing this unusually large 4,152 in the KP2. So because we are absorbing a lot of contracts to the sell side, that's what sets up this trade from basically 6550 all the way down to 47 over a 20 point move. We then uh, have about the same number of contracts that were covered to this strong trend trade right here. This time it was 4,215. And again, we see an even stronger response from the sellers on limit orders. That takes us from 54 all the way down to 38, another uh, 16, 17 point drop. Again, down here, we see that this is, an only, this is only a 99 compared to the 137 that we see when we are trading up here at this intermediate zone for, for this trend trade. Plus, what is also happening here is Zone Trader Pro Divergence Indicator is picking up this as a separate divergence here and giving you this seven point trade here, followed up with a second divergence trade into the close and closing on the lows that we see here. So all in all, a really good day. And if we start to learn and understand what these classification numbers are telling us, we're going to be giving ourselves an advantage. One other thing, I did receive an update from Shark Indicators for their Blackbird Indicator. And I'm happy to say that the Blackbird Indicator is now fully functional with the uh, Zone Trader Pro charts. Basically the issue wasn't the Zone Trader Pro charts or anything like that. It, there was an issue on how uh, Blackbird was reading the volume metric bars. So that has been cleaned up and there will be a hot fix put out shortly to the Bloodhound and Blackbird users. So uh, that's where we stand with this. I want to thank you for watching and if you have any questions be sure to go ahead and give me a call. Thanks. Have a good day.